welcome to the practice today. June marks a month where the neuropathic yoga is going to focus solely on the hips. Um, the hips are an area that I would get requested to teach a lot of. Many of you feel they have tightness around this area. And this can be for many reasons. Um, and throughout the month, we can go through and explore different reasons as to why our hip flexors are tight. Sometimes it's um, simply because of anatomy and our bone structure. Uh, others, it's for our routines in, in our day to day life. And many of us who sit behind desks uh, five days a week, this can cause a, a lack of range of movement. Um, also, one reason for inflexibility in our hips is due to the weakness of the muscles. So, in order to be able to increase flexibility, we first need to strengthen the, the hip flexors, uh, which is what today uh, and this week's sessions are going to focus on. So, to start with, let's come down into a climb with the flying pose. We'll start laying on our backs, bringing the soles of the feet together, knees out wide. You can bring your heels. Uh, as close uh, to your sit bones or as far away as feels comfortable. Um, make sure you've got a neutral spine, draw your shoulders away from your ears, and allow your hands to release out, palms facing upwards. Feel free to close down the eyes here if it's comfortable for you. And inhale, take a deep breath. Open the mouth and exhale. Inhale, deep belly breath in through the nose. Open the mouth and exhale, let it all go. Feel your body sinking deep into the earth. Now come to a natural rhythm of breath. Inhale and exhale in through the nose. Want to, you can feel free to put a few hands on your belly and with every inhale feel your belly expanding to your hands. And with every exhale feel your belly fall closer to the earth. So we continue this deep rhythm of breath. Notice the body filling with life with every inhale. And with every exhale, notice the body relaxing. Round and down. Taking your awareness down to the sit bones or the centre of your hip flexors. The centre of stability, the centre of strength, and also a centre where we hold a lot of our emotions. Work through today's practice. I want you to bring your awareness to your hips. Feel the breath filling the space in between your hips with every inhale. And with every exhale, feel the center of strength, the center of stability, rooting down. Bring the left ankle over the right knee. 
Open it out, left knee, left hand. Ground down the hips to the floor, keeping a neutral spine, and breathe into the belly. Slowly on the next exhale, draw the knee and the left foot over to the right hand side. If you notice your shoulder coming up off the earth, feel free to place a block underneath your foot. You can use your right hand to push the knee away, and if it's comfortable, you can take your gaze over to the left hand side. Sure to flex the left foot and try and open out that left knee into a figure four. Keep your hips stacked parallel and grounded to the earth, keeping your shoulders flat on the mat. Inhale and exhale. Try to relax the muscles of the leg and the hip. Focusing on your breath. Inhale, draw the knee a little bit closer and exhale to release. Bring the left foot flat to the mat and just wish your wagging your legs from side to side. Reach out that left leg, push through the heel. Draw the right knee into the belly. Inhale and exhale. Draw the knee a little bit closer to that right shoulder. Bring your left knee high to the sky. Cross over your right foot to your left leg. Using your right hand to push that knee outwards, keeping your right foot flat. Notice that one side may feel completely different to the other. And this is completely normal. Exhale to slowly release the foot and the knee down to the left hand side. Open out the arm, take your gaze to the right hand side. Keep pushing outwards with that right knee. And breathe into the right side. There are many factors that can contribute to different flexibility in either side of the hips or your body for that matter. Any injuries as a child or a The strength of your legs, the strength of uh, your body. Inhale to engage your lower abdomen <coughs> and draw your knees back up to centre. Draw your left knee close to the chest and take your hold of wherever is comfortable, whether that's behind your thigh or interlace your fingers in between. Draw your knee close to your chest, flexing that right foot, breathe into this right knee. Allow your face muscles to relax, draw your shoulders away from your ears. Allow your breath to take your mind away from the pain and the stretch. There shouldn't be any pain in these moments, but there should, there should be some sensation. If you ever feel pain during any of the practices, just come out slightly or take a modification. 
It's all about respecting your body and being honest with yourself to understand where it is you want to. Exhale to release the leg. Bring the right foot down to the earth. And once you're wide, the leg from side to side. Ground down three feet. And inhale to reach your hips up to the sky. Try and keep your uh, legs parallel to one another, hip distance apart. Imagine you're squeezing a block in between your knees. Push the hips high up to the sky, drawing the heart towards the chin. Allow your breath to travel down through your heart centre, all the way into your belly, into the hip centre. And exhale, maintaining the strength of your legs and your hips. Exhale to feel the air drawing out from the top, the crown of the head. Exhale, vertebrae by vertebrae, slowly lower the hips down to the side, to the floor. And once you wipe the legs from side to side. Ground down through the feet. You should just be able to stroke your heels with your fingertips. Push through your heels and send the hips high to the sky. Really pushing you through. Imagine these are rolling in the centre of your hips and you're pulling you up high. Try and allow, keep your knees parallel to one another and don't let them flare out. Option here to interlace the fingers behind the spine. And come up high onto your shoulders, pushing that hips further higher into the sky. Continue to breathe. Slowly release the shoulders and vertebrae by vertebrae come rolling down onto the mat. Finish your wiping your legs from side to side. Take this one more time. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Option to interlace the fingers behind your back once more. And the next variation is to come up onto your tiptoes. And push through your hips a little bit further. Inhale. Exhale, reach up. As high as you can. Exhale, release the hands. Slow yourself down to the mat. Once you wipe your legs from side to side. Draw the knees into the chest and give yourself a big hug. Massage the spine along the mat. As you inhale, try to get for some momentum. Rock it back and forth into the, into the seated position at the top of your mat. Inhale, reach your hands up to the sky. And exhale, draw the right hand down to the floor and reach over to the right hand side. Pushing through that left sit bone, making sure you hold the ground on the floor. Inhale, reach up to the sky. And exhale, draw yourself over to the left hand side. Pushing through that right hip, opening out to the right hand side, left hand side. Inhale, come up to centre, lower your hand. Grounding down through your sit bones, bring the soles of your feet together, and open out to a seat of butterfly. You can draw your knees, your heels close to your sit bones, or you can have them far away from your knees. So, whatever's comfortable for you, close down your eyes and feel into your body. Feel into what your body needs right now, and be honest with where you are. Yoga isn't about how far you can go, how far you can bend, whether you can touch your toes or whether you can stand on your feet. It's about being comfortable and honest with yourself, with your body, with your mind, and allowing the breath to carry you freely throughout the practice. Inhale, reach the heart up to the sky, and exhale, fold yourself forward. Open down the knees, using your elbows as a little bit of a mechanism. Inhale, reach your heart forward. Exhale, fall down a little bit deeper. Continue to breathe. Allow the breath to carry all the way down the spine into your sit bones. Inhale, reach your 
drop to the sky, allow your hands to fall down by your side. Draw your right foot to the outside of your left sit bones and bring your left foot onto the outside of the right knee. If this is too much for you, feel free to straighten out uh, the right leg. Sit up straight and inhale, reach the right hand up to the sky. And exhale, twist over, wrapping the hand around the knee. Bring your left hand behind the spine. Inhale to stretch the spine higher. Reaching tall through the crown of your head. And exhaling to twist over. Taking your gaze behind your shoulder. Releasing the hands down by your side and allowing your feet to come out through the knees in a bit of shape. Take your left foot at the outside of your right hip and wrap the right foot to the outside of your left knee. Again, feel free to straighten out the left leg if it's more comfortable for you. Inhale, reach the chest up, going tall through the crown of the head. Exhale to rotate to the right hand side, wrapping the left hand over the right knee. Bring your right hand behind your sacrum and take your gaze over your shoulder. With every inhale, roll tall through the spine, and with every exhale, twist a little bit further. Continue to breathe. our toes together, knees out wide, and sit back on our hips. Walk the hands forward and allow your chest and your forehead to lower down on the mat. Feel free to place a cushion underneath, in, underneath your sit bones or rest your forehead on the block if it's more comfortable. From your child pose, reach forward into a tabletop position, tuck your toes, and push yourself back into a down facing block. Pedal out the feet if you need to. Reach through the hips, pushing the floor away. Bend the knees as much as you need. Slowly bend the knees and step forward. Coming into a forward fold and fold your mat. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Reach yourself up to the sky. Roll down through your shoulders. Inhale to sink the hips down. Coming into your chair pose, reaching out through your fingertips. Tuck your tailbone under. And continue to breathe. Exhale, lower down to the full foot. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palm, step the right foot back, lower the knee to the floor. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Stacking your left knee on your left ankle, engaging the right glute. the toes of your right foot, engage your lower abdomen and push up into a high lunge. Maintaining the integrity of that front leg, keeping it stacked over the ankle. Work towards straightening the back leg and push through that right heel. Inhale, keeping the left leg as it is, pivot on the right foot, grounding down through the outer edges of the right. Open out your hands and take your gaze 
down the centre line. Stepping your shoulders over your hips, continue to breathe. And smile. <laughs> Straighten that front leg. Bring your left toes to the side of your mat, keeping them parallel. And exhale to bring your left, your right toes out to the back of the room, bending through the right knee. Inhale, reach up to the sky, bring your toes parallel. Exhale to open your hands out, deepening into a warrior two back to the front. Inhale, reach up. Exhale. Draw down into a warrior two to the back of the room. One more time. Inhale. Allow the feet to come parallel. Exhale, pivot on the left foot, drawing the knee, stacking it over the left ankle. Inhale to reach up. Exhale. Bend through that right knee, stacking the right knee over the ankle. Taking gaze down the centre line, stretching through your arms, tucking your tailbone under in, making sure you can still see that big toe. Cartwheel hands down to the mat, and open out to the right hand side, reaching through the fingertips and pushing back through that left heel. Exhale to frame the front foot. And push back into the down facing dog. Inhale to come forward into plank. Exhale, lower the knees and lower down to the earth. Inhale, engage the muscles of the spine. Allow the hands to hover above the mat. Exhale to push back into a down facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up to the sky. Exhale, draw the knee to the nose and plant the pack the foot in between your hands. Pivot on the left foot, ground the heel down to the other. Cartwheel the hands open, coming into a warrior two. Stepping the right knee over the right ankle, opening it out so you can still see the big toe. Take your gaze down the centre and continue to breathe. Inhale and straighten your left, your right leg, reach the hands up to the sky, pivot on the foot, coming out to the side of your mat. Bring your heels into the centre so your toes are pointing outwards. And exhale to sink down into goddess pose. Inhale, reach up, straighten the legs, straighten the arms. Exhale, sink deeper. With your hips. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, lower down, sinking into goddess pose. Opening out your knees, tucking your tailbone under, bringing your hands into heart centre. Continue to breathe. If you want to open your hands out to match your legs, feel free to do so. This is your practice. And this is your goddess pose. Inhale, reach your hands up to the sky. Bring your heels outwards once more so your feet are parallel. Bring your hip, hands on your hips. Inhale to open up the heart and exhale to fold forward. Release the hands down to the mat. Or if you would like to take your hands to either side of your ankle and open yourself out a little bit further. Bring the weight into the heels of your feet, into the toes of your feet, sorry. Engage your quads, inhale to lengthen the spine, exhale to fold forward a little bit deeper. Release the hands to the mat. And slowly walk your hands over to the left foot as you pivot on the back. Hold here, push through the left heel. Lower the left 
right knee to the floor, onto the toes, and reach up to the sky. Into your lower lunge. Exhale, frame the front foot, push back into a downward facing dog. Inhale, forward into plank. Exhale, lower the knees, tuck the elbows in, and lower your body down to the head. Tuck your toes, interlace the fingers behind your back, and push the floor away. Grounding down your hips to the earth and stretching through the shoulders. Exhale to release. Push back into a down facing. Inhale to take your gaze forward, bend the knees as much as you need. Step, hop, or jump to the front of your mat. Coming into your forward fold. Sink your hips down low, sweep your hands up to the sky. Stretch your your fingertips, tuck your tailbone under. Sit for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Slight back bend. Exhale, draw the hands down to your heart center. Take a moment here. Notice how your body feels. Ground down three feet, bringing the hip distance apart. Put your tailbone under, engage the lower abdomen. Bend the knees more generously as you sink your hips down to the floor. Coming into your chair top. Tuck your tailbone under and stretch through your fingers. Keeping your knees back behind your toes so you can still see your toes twinkling down below. Exhale, forward forward. Inhale, halfway lift, engage the muscles of your spine. Exhale, plant the palm, set the left foot back, lower the knees to the floor. Inhale, reach your hands up to the sky, stepping your right knee over your right ankle. And engage your glute to release the left hip flexor. Breathe here. Tuck the toes of your left foot, engage your lower abdomen, and push up into a high lift position, keeping the right knee stacked over the right ankle. Bend the left leg as generously as you need. Work towards straightening that back leg, but if you notice your, arc, uh, your spine arching, bend it back and forth. Pivot on that left foot and ground the outer edges of the left foot down into the earth. Opening your hands out into the warrior two. Take your gaze down on your right knee. And open it out to make sure you can still see your right leg toe. Breathe. Taking your gaze down the centre. Engaging your leg, engaging your lower abdomen, and drawing your shoulders to the stacked over your hips. Exhale to straighten the front leg and pivot over the right. Right toes and feet are parallel and you're opening out to the side of your hand. Coming into your star pose. Pivot on the left foot. Coming out to warrior two, back of the mat. Inhale to come back to a star, reaching the hands up to the sky. Exhale, pivot on the right foot, bend through your right knee, coming out to warrior two, back to the front. Do this one more time. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, pivot on the left foot, coming to warrior two on the back of your mat. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, bending through that front knee. Last round, inhale, come up to the sky. Exhale, pivot on the left foot, grounding down through that left knee. Push the floor away through the right, right outer edge of the foot. Bring your shoulders stacking over your elbows. Cat with the 
hands down and grounding the, the right hand into the mat, opening out to the left hand side. Keeping your left leg, left knee stacked over your left ankle, push through that right heel. Slowly lower the hands down to the mat and push back into a downward facing knee. Inhale to come forward into plank. Exhale, lower the knees to the floor, lower the body to the mat. Inhale, low cobra, engaging the muscles of the spine. Exhale, push back into a down facing dog. Left leg up to the sky. Draw the knee to the nose, plant the foot in between the hands. Pivot on the back foot and open out to warrior two. Step the right knee over the, sorry, the left knee over the left ankle. Open it out to the C big toe. Inhale to straighten the leg. Pivot your foot to your feet parallel to one another. Interlace your fingers. In between, behind your back, and open out your heart to the sky. Folding forward, drawing your knuckles to the sky. Bringing your weight forward in your feet, in your toes. Push through your heels, open out your shoulders. Continue to breathe. Lift your kneecaps up to engage your quads. Inhale to halfway lift, all the way up to the sky, reaching back. Exhale, release your hands. Draw your heels into one another, pointing your toes out to the side. Slowly sit down, through your sit bones, keeping your legs out wide. Bring your hands to your knees and draw your right shoulder down to the side of the line. Inhale to come back up, exhale to draw the left shoulder down to the centre of the line. Inhale to come back up, repeat this three more times. Exhale to come down and twist. Inhale to come up. Exhale to come down with the left. Inhale to come up. Right. And left. Inhale to come back up to centre. Bring your hands above your head and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale to come onto your toes. For five, four, three, two, one. Release your heels back down, straighten your legs and release your hands down by your side. Bend through that front knee and lower your hands down to the inside of the right foot, pushing through that left heel in your lizard lunge. Breathe here. Lower the knee to the floor and inhale to reach up into your low lunge. Engage the left glute and stack the right knee over the right hand. Exhale, frame the front foot, push back into a downward facing dog. Inhale to come forward into plank. Exhale, lower down, lower the body down to the floor. Inhale, low cobra, engage the muscles of the back. Exhale, push back into downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, take your gaze to the front. Step, hop, hop, drop to the front of the mat and bow the floor. Lower the hips down to the floor, reaching the hands up to the sky. Five, four, you get out there. Tailbone to the front of 
engaging lower abdomen, sink a little bit deeper, and inhale to come up, reaching back slightly. Exhale, draw the hand down through heart center. Release the hand down by the side. And breathe. Inhale, open the mouth, exhale, let it go. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, back my lift. Exhale, plant the palms. Step up, 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 back to a plank position. Lower the knees to the floor and push back into the child's pose. Inhale, deep belly breath. And exhale, open the mouth and let it go. Come into breath, inhale and exhale through your nose. Ground down through the palms and you lift up your hips. Bringing your hips down to the mat. Drawing your knees parallel to your hips. Inhale to engage the muscles of your back. Coming into a low cobra. Ground down through your hips. Bring your shoulders away from your ears. Exhale to release. Tops of your feet, flat on the mat, ground down through your hips, tuck your tailbone under, inhale, reach up to a low cobra. Exhale, lower down. One more time, inhale, engage the muscles of the back. Exhale, lower down, ground down through the palms, and push yourself up into a high cobra. Keeping your hips firm on the mat and allow your bum, your legs and your feet to relax. Draw the elbows close to the body and open up the heart space. If this is too much, walk the hands further forward and push up from here or alternatively lower down to the elbows and come into space. No, whatever is good for your body is okay. And feel the stretch opening out the hips at the front of the body. Exhaling, lower down. Bring your hands into a pillow, resting your forehead on your hands. Inhale to lift the left leg up. Keeping both hip bones firmly on the ground. Hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Then do ten small pulses, reaching them up for five, four, three, two, one. Lower the leg down to the floor and bend through the left knee. Grabbing hold of the left foot. Stay here or alternatively you can bring your elbow underneath your shoulder to deepen the stretch. Slowly release the hand. Come back down to making a pillow on the floor. Lift up the right leg, hold for five, four, three, two, one. Do some little pulses, reaching the toes up to the sky, engaging the left hip, right hip flexor. For five, four, three, two, one. Roll the knee down to the floor and grab a hold of the right foot, pulling it closer to the body. Option here to deepen the stretch and come up onto your left shoulder. Might be a bit awkward. Notice if one side feels different to the next. And breathe. Slowly 
slow, and lower the foot down to the floor. Breathe in, hat, forehead down, come back underneath your shoulders. Push back into the child's pose. Reaching through the fingertips, sitting your hips back down to your heels. Inhale to come up to a tabletop, tuck the toes underneath. And push yourself back into a downward facing dog. Push the floor away. Inhale and exhale here. Lengthen the spine. Sending the hips to the sky. Inhale, reach the left leg up to the sky. And exhale, draw the knee to the outside of the left hand, planting the foot on the outside of the hand. Option here to stay like this. We'll just breathe, pushing through that uh, right heel. Elongate spine, shrug your shoulders away from your ears. Lower the right knee to the floor. Release the toes, an option to lower down onto your elbow. Breathe here. Breathe into your hip space. If this is too much, feel free to come back up onto your hands, whatever is comfortable for you. Yoga is about being honest with your body, knowing whatever it is you can do that day is okay. Come back up onto your hands, if you're down on your elbows. Ground down through the right hand and open up the hip, coming onto the outside of the left foot. Opening the heart space to the left hand side and sinking a little deeper into the hip flexors. Continuing to breathe. Option to stay here or if it's within practice, feel free to lift the right leg and reach back and grab hold of the foot with your arms. This is quite a big stretch, so remember to breathe, don't hold your breath. And inhale to sink deeper and relax your muscles of your body. Know that whatever you can do today, you can always go back to the previous stage. Exhale to release the foot, bringing the hand back down to the earth. Push back to the downward facing foot. Pedal out the feet. Notice to see if one side feels different to the other, and then you stretch the leg. Inhale to reach the right leg up to the sky. Exhale, draw the knee towards the elbow and ground down the foot on the outside of the right hand. Stay here, pushing out through that left heel. Elongate the spine, take the shoulders away from the ears, take your gaze down to the edge of your mouth. Lower the left knee to the earth, untuck your toes. Option to stay here, a lower the elbows to the floor. Know that one side may feel completely different to the other, and that's completely normal. Be okay, don't push yourself to match both sides to be the same. Just feel into your body and go to wherever it feels comfortable. In these poses, there should be no pain, but you should feel some form of sensation. At least that means it's working. And continue to breathe, allow the muscles to relax. If you're on your elbows, come back up onto your hands. Turn onto the outside of the right foot and open out the knee to the right hand side. Pushing your shoulders, giving yourself a little twist. Feel free to stay here, or if it's within your practice, you can bend the left knee and reach back to grab hold of the foot. For me, this side is much easier 
them and the other. Because I had a little injury when I was younger and it's always been the same since. So don't uh, put too much pressure on yourself to match the size because whatever's happened all up until this time before now can impact the flexibility and the tightness and stuff of your hips. Slowly lower the foot down if you've got a hold. Bring the hands back down to the floor and push back into a down facing dog. Inhale for a breath here, reaching the path to the hips up to the sky. And exhale to lower the knees to the floor. Bringing your hips down onto your heels. So, for the next pose, slightly open um, your feet. Make sure the tops of your feet are flat on the, on the ground. But open your heels so your bum can reach down to the floor. It's a bit like easy pose, except your bum is on, your heel, on the floor rather than your heels. If this is too much, just come back up and sit on your heels, or alternatively, you can sit on a block like so, or a cushion works the same. However, if you want a deeper hip stretch, bring your bum in between your feet. From here, with your sit bones on the earth, this may be enough for you, and that's okay. Just close down the eyes and breathe deep breaths in through the nose, from the down the spine, all the way to your sit bones. Exhaling, so release the muscles a little bit deeper. If you want to go further into the pose, bring your hands behind the body and stretch out. This is okay, you can come onto your elbows. Making sure your knees are not lifting up off the earth. If you feel your knees are lifting, just come up a little bit slack more. Keeping your chin tucked close to your chest. Slowly, slowly lower all the way down to the earth. Relaxing the hands out if it's comfortable. Just taking a moment here to breathe. Allow your breath to relax your muscles, allowing them to stretch further. Know that at any point, if it's too much for you, just go back to the stage before. And wherever you're at today, know that that's good. There's no comparisons in yoga, this is a personal practice. And it's about understanding where you're up to in the moment. Knowing that each day can be different. To so come back up. Reach up onto your elbows. Slowly, slowly flat the palms. Come back up to a seated position. Draw yourself forward and come up. On over to sit onto your right hip. Bring your right leg, like right shin parallel to the front of the mat and your right quad parallel to the right side of the mat. Bring your left and your left shin parallel to the left side of your mat. Should look like you're in a backwards S shape. Inhale to reach up to the sky and exhale to fold forward over the right leg. Know that your left hip will come off the floor and that's completely normal. That's how it's supposed to be. If this is okay for you and you don't really feel too much, you can inhale to come back up again and walk your hands over to the right foot and exhale to fold forward over the right foot instead. And you should feel a deeper stretch into the right hip. Go to wherever is comfortable for you and breathe.
in here to come back up to the centre. And switch the legs over, bringing the left shin parallel to the front of the mat in front of your body. And the right quad parallel to the front of the mat. This time, the funny, not less. <laughs> Inhale to reach up and exhale to fold forward over the left leg. If this is okay for you, you feel some sensation, stay here. Otherwise, inhale to come back up and walk yourself over to the left foot. Inhale to elongate the spine and exhale to fold. Rest here. Try and lengthen your breath. Inhale deep into the belly through your nose. And exhaling, allow the muscles to relax a little bit deeper, allowing you to fall a little bit lower. Remember in these poses, as you're slowing the body down, it's important not to push yourself. There should be no pressure in your arms or in the top of your body trying to pull yourself closer to the earth. Just allow the body to fall naturally and accept wherever it is that you're up to today. Inhale to come back up to centre. Bring the right foot to meet the left. Bring the soles of the feet to touch, allowing your um, knees to fall outward. Engage the muscles of the belly and slow the vertebrae by vertebrae. Roll yourself down, coming flat on the mat, rolling out the shoulders. Option to bring your hands on your lower abdomen, or you can take them out of, above your head in a triangle position, matching the shape of your legs. Whichever is comfortable for you, just breathe in this position and allow your whole body to sink into the mat. Notice your breath expanding your belly with every inhale. And with every exhale, notice all your muscles from your feet into your hips, into your heart, grounding down into the earth. Allow your whole body to relax. Notice the opening in your hips. Notice how your body feels. Notice without judgment. We hold a lot of emotions in our hip flexors. So stretching them out is really important as it can be a really good, not only physical release, but an emotional one too. You draw the knees back into one another. Give yourself a big hug. Slowly release the hands out to the feet and out, sorry, to the outside of the mat, coming into the final resting pose. Allowing the whole body to relax. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose, releasing the control of your breath from this moment. I invite you to stay here for a few minutes. To allow your body to say all the hard work that it's done today. I'm leaving here in this resting pose. Thank you for practicing with me today. I bow to the fluidity that shines from you. Namaste. Namaste.